Hello everyone. It's Samantha here at SLB1983. Um, this is my name sign that I made for a Soul Crafters Challenge once upon a time. Um, so yeah. Today, I it's been a while since I've done some YouTube videos. Um, I've been out, you know, I got a new job and then I've been working on pretty much finishing up a lot of old pieces I've had in, in like packed away so I've pulled a lot of my old art pieces out and I've been just working on finishing a lot of them up um, yeah but today I think I want to work on some polymer clay projects I've seen people working on them like online on YouTube and I just thought it would be something pretty cool to like try to do so I went and I got some it looks like Primo Sculpty Accents and this is a translucent or transparent um, so that's different um, and I also got well, I also purchased two other ones um, these are like Sculpty Souffle I don't know if you can see that um, one is a concrete gray and the other one is a latte um, and I also bought a few of these I guess um, Perlex um, powders I got the Ref reflex violet that's this one I also got the duo vert violet I also have orange it's pumpkin orange I also have flamingo pink and lastly I have sky blue sorry for the blinking um, I also have this eye shimmers it's like a eye powder and it's called olive you I thought that's so cute but it's a gorgeous color so I thought maybe it might work um, for this I also have this brush and leaf silver leaf um, I'm not sure how good that's gonna work on clay but I'm gonna give it a try and I also have the famous Robin buffs so I have the Grecian gold I oops I also have antique gold which the top just came off it's, looks like it's broken and I also have Spanish copper so we're gonna see where we go with that um, so this is gonna be my first time using clay I've never really used clay before um, but I have used I don't know if you've guys heard of plastic cloth um, so I, per I recently purchased these molds um, when I went and got the clay um, let me just go grab those Um, so one is a tribal, oh, you can see that, and the other one are suns. Um, so before I decided, to, or before I use them for the clay, I decided to let me just experiment with my plaster cloth, which looked like this. I don't know if you can see that so they're like strips of plaster um, so what you do is you just get some hot water and you like cut them to, to little sizes that you want so that's little small ones I use for the mold um, you dip them in hot water and it softens them up and makes them very um, scout like shapeable I guess um, and then I stuck them in here and of course I let them dry and this is what they came out looking like. So I think they came out pretty cool. Um, there's the sun. I don't know if you can see that. Um, here's another one. I gotta um, sand them, of course, now because of the little threads, um, which is fine. But um, here's another one. 
I just thought they were pretty cool. And they even have different sizes, like super teeny small ones. Um, so I've just been playing with these for now. Uh, and I've only made a few and I have to store them in the fridge um, to get them nice and hard because the humidity here is way high. So that in order to get them nice and hard, I have to put them in the fridge. Um, I don't know if I'm going to utilize those today, but that's that. Um, so back to the sculpting. I think I'm going to use the gray or the concrete souffle one, sculpty souffle. And I pulled out a whole bunch of my stamps that I'm going to use. 